Hello and welcome to episode 74 of my Working with Todoist series. In this episode, I'm going to show you the new Watch OS 3 and Todoist working on that. So let's get straight into this because this is rather uncomfortable. So let's click on the little side button to take me to the dock or the new dock. And if I click on, on Todoist, it brings me up. Now I have my Todoist set up in Today View and this is very easy for me to just scroll down and I can tick off tasks in here very very easily I can just click on this one uh, go in there da, 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 tick it off and sure enough that has now gone so um, that's my today view now there has been some little changes in Todoist and to see the the biggest changes is you can actually now choose the view that you see now to do that you hard press on the <laughs> get this working hard press there we go uh, and now it will ask me add task so I can quickly add a task so for example let's go it's taking its time send letter to Dr. Min okay so I can now click on done and that's done it just picked up words there for me but uh, I know this is a, this is great because it's a quick capture for me so uh, I can now just click on save and that's now saved that into my inbox now the other one is you can actually change the view in Todoist so you can click on choose view and again it will now I can click on any of these and it will let me choose whichever view I want to see now, to be honest, I would only use my watch for a quick glance. So I would choose the today view and that is what I see here. So for me, the watch OS three is really for a quick glance and maybe just to uh, tick off tasks as and when I need them. But pretty much that's it in to do is for I watch OS three. I really, really do like it. I think it's a great addition to uh, the Todoist family of applications. Uh, it's not something I use a lot, but it is in my dock and it is a good way to quickly check any tasks that I have to do. So there you go. I just wanted to cover Watch OS. I've never covered the Watch op Todoist on Apple Watch before. So hopefully for, the, for you guys out there, if you do have a watch, then there you go. That's what we have on Todoist in Apple Watch. So don't forget, please join me again in the next episode, episode 75. And for the rest of it, I just wish you all a very, very productive week.